lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Katie and I post fashion and lifestyle videos. Today is going to be a fashion collaboration video with my friend Emma, Emma's Lovely Life over on Instagram and YouTube. I'll pop her Instagram and YouTube handle up on the screen here for you. So in today's video, we're gonna be filming some birthday outfits in each other's styles. So me and Emma do have quite different styles. I feel like we've got elements of each other's styles, but overall we are fairly different, I would say. I'm a lot more kind of pink, girly, frilly, all of that kind of stuff. And Emma's a lot more capsule, classic, timeless wardrobe kind of style. And I absolutely love her fashion sense and her personal style. It is so gorgeous. She has such good taste in so many things and I love it. So I'm really excited to be able to put together some outfits in her style for the birthday events from my birthday. So my birthday was at the beginning of May, Emma's birthday is mid-May. So we just thought it'd be a great opportunity to collaborate on a video and just test out each other's styles really. Before I jump into the outfits, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and make sure the notification bell is turned on so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Also be sure to give this video a like if you do enjoy it and leave a comment down below letting me know which outfit was your favourite. If you would like to see more outfits from me, day to day life, outfit inspiration and maybe some more capsule wardrobe kind of style outfits as well because I am kind of leaning towards that style a little bit more recently definitely go and give me a follow over on Instagram I do post a lot more over there I am at Katie Libby and Rose over there as well so with that all out of the way let's get on with the outfits for the first activity that I did for my birthday it was going out for cocktails with some friends we ended up going to this really lovely bar in the town local to me called Harbour on 6th it's super fancy and it feels very luxurious and glamorous so it was the perfect place to spend my birthday evening celebrating with friends they play really cool music it feels just like a really cool vibe and i don't feel like i am cool enough really to go in there but we did and it was really cute and i'll put some pictures up on the screen of that night but the decor is so lovely and it's so me with all the flowers on the ceiling and everything. So yeah, I had a really lovely time. For the Emma style outfit for going out for cocktails, I've put together quite a classic, timeless kind of party outfit that I really think Emma would wear. So to start off with, I've gone for this gorgeous cream satiny kind of material blouse. It's got a cow neck design, which I think is such a classic neckline and I really think that this is the kind of piece that Emma would style up. I think it would look really lovely on her and I can just see her wearing this kind of neckline and this kind of style blouse. The colour of course goes with so much. It's just a lovely material, really nice quality as well. This is from H&M. I did get it on Vinted and got it for a bargain price. Honestly, if you've not shopped on Vinted, I would really recommend going and having a look because you can pick up some amazing pieces. Then I've paired the blouse with a black sequin skirt, a mini skirt from New Look. I actually got this last winter ready for Christmas and I wore this actually on Christmas day as well. It's such a good party skirt. I just think it's so versatile. It's great for going out for drinks or to parties. Obviously Christmas day, it was fabulous. I am actually gonna wear this skirt to a Hindu coming up as well and I think for Emma's style all of her pieces in her wardrobe that I've seen are just so versatile and you can pair things with multiple pieces which obviously then creates your capsule wardrobe and I just love that style. I think this is just such a classic colour combination as well with the black and the cream. So timeless, so classic and just so Emma. For shoes, I've gone for something maybe a little bit different to what I could see Emma wearing. Just because I didn't have something exact in my wardrobe, I feel like with this outfit she'd probably go for like a black court shoe with a mid kind of stiletto heel height. The shoes that I've gone for I think she would really like, 
but maybe not necessarily wear. They're quite a high heel and they're a block heel as well. I'm not sure if Emma would wear a block heel, but I've only kind of seen her wear a stiletto, which again is that really classic, timeless kind of style. But these heels are my favorite pair of heels that I have in my wardrobe. They're just a gorgeous black suede. It's, like I say, quite a high heel height, so I don't wear them too often, only when I know that I'm not walking very far. And the heel has got this gorgeous embroidered floral design on the back and it is just so pretty. It's got that little pop of pink, so a little hint to my own style in there. And I think it just ties the whole look together. Just adding a little bit of pattern is quite nice when you've got quite a plain outfit. And then for my bag, I'm also hinting a little bit towards my own style with the colour. So I wanted to tie in the heels with the outfit a bit more, so I decided to go for my pink Michael Kors crossbody bag. This is just such a perfect size for going out. It's not too big, not too small. You can fit everything you need in there for a night out. And it's quite easy because it's a crossbody. I think I prefer going out with a crossbody bag just because in case you wanted to go dancing, it's nice and easy to just throw over your body and not have to worry about it. And I think this really does tie in the whole outfit together, just with the hint of pink on the heels and with the bag. It ties everything together, creating such a nice classic look for going out for cocktails. So the cocktail night was actually the night before my birthday. Moving on to my actual birthday, I had such a lovely day. It was really nice and chilled. I just spent the whole day with my fiance and we went and did a few little bits. The main activity was pottery painting, so I wanted something quite comfortable and easy to wear for the whole day. It turned out to be such a gorgeous sunny day as well. We went to the park, had some sushi in the sun, and then we just had a little bit of a wander around. And then yeah, I went pottery painting, ended up in a pub garden as well for a drink. And it was just such a lovely day overall, really nice and chilled. It felt like such an adult birthday. I have turned. 25 now so it feels like an actual adult age even though I don't feel my age at all I still feel probably about 18 or 20 but now I've gone into adulthood I'm in my mid-20s I had a much more kind of sophisticated low-key birthday I mean last year if you've seen the vlog I did go to Disneyland on my birthday so I am still a child at heart which I think I will forever be a child at heart but yeah it was just such a lovely day really relaxed and I was so happy that the sun came out for my birthday it was the first properly warm sunny day as well so I got really lucky with the weather which was really good like I said in terms of my outfit I wanted to go for something quite comfortable and easy going so taking Emma's style into consideration I have gone for a black and white striped bodycon dress a bodycon dress screams Emma to me. She really suits them. I've seen her wear them so much and my favourite one of hers is actually she owns this really lovely dark green bodycon midi dress and it is just stunning. She really really suits that kind of style and again it's just such a classic timeless style. I'm going to be repeating myself so much in this video but that is just her style. That is the only way I can think to describe it. It's just elegant and elevated and really timeless. I think this dress that I've chosen really does capture that style as well. This is actually from Primark, quite a recent purchase, so it might still be in store. I think it was only like £13 as well. It is super comfy, really stretchy, a really good midi length. And the colour palette again is just really lovely with the stripes and the black and white, the monochrome look. To go with the dress, I have just popped on a light jacket, just in case it got a bit chilly. So I've gone for this brown suede jacket that I already own. Again, it's from Primark from quite a few years ago. I don't actually own many lightweight jackets. I either have a denim jacket or this light brown one. And I feel like the light brown one was a lot more Emma than the denim. We were talking actually and she did say that a denim jacket just screams my style. She feels like that's a real Katie spring summer wardrobe staple. So I decided to go for my other light jacket rather than the denim. It would have been great if it was in black but unfortunately I've only got the tan brown. 
But then again, I think this tan colour is definitely still Emma's style and it goes with a lot of the colours in her wardrobe as well. So it's still very much her style in terms of the colouring, I think. And then to pair with that, I've gone for a pair of black ballet pumps. She wears her black, I think, Ted Baker ballet pumps all the time and they really suit her and they just go with everything. It's such a classic shoe that you can pair with anything. So I think that goes really well with this look. Like I said, let's just pretend the jacket is black so it all ties in a little bit better together. My black ballet pumps are just from Primark. This is a full Primark outfit at the moment. I didn't even realize when I was putting this together, but these ballet pumps are such good value for money. They're super comfortable. I think they're like six pounds. They do them in so many different colors. They bring out new colors each year as well. And I've recently just bought the black ones just because they're such a good staple piece in any wardrobe. And then to tie in the black, all together I've gone for a black crossbody bag from Tommy Hilfiger this is just such a good easygoing everyday bag it works really well with the outfit it's great because you can shorten the strap if you want to wear it shorter or again just crossbody which I quite like it's quite easygoing and just good for a day out I think this is definitely an outfit that Emma would wear I can really see her wearing this whole look especially because of the silhouette and the length of the dress that is very much an emma dress lastly on my birthday i went out for a lovely french meal at a gorgeous french restaurant with my family it was the most stunning meal so authentic and gorgeous gorgeous food the decor in the restaurant as well was so lovely it felt like we were in paris so it was quite nice to kind of flash back to my birthday last year when we were actually in Paris and have a very similar setting. The whole evening was just so wonderful. The food was amazing. So to start with, I had lobster soup, which was divine. And then I had duck breast for my main. And then of course I had to go for a creme brulee to finish off. We had wine, I had a cocktail. It was just gorgeous. It was great company, a great setting and gorgeous food. For my Emma style outfit for my birthday dinner, I've gone for a very classic Emma colour palette, I feel. To start off the look, I've gone for this gorgeous dark green emerald dress from Apricot. This silhouette is just stunning. I absolutely love the style of this dress. It's very much my kind of style dress in terms of the silhouette, the A-line skirt. But the colour is just so Emma. I know she absolutely loves this dark green and it really suits her complexion and her hair colour really well. So I just had to include this dress in this video. I do actually own this dress in a more me colour. It's pink and floral, which is very much me. So this dark green one, I usually tend to wear more in autumn, winter, but it does definitely suit any time of year. Because it's a mini length, you can wear it any time of year and the colour, like I say, is just so Emma. To go with this, I've gone for brown accessories. I think the brown and dark green go really well together. So for my shoes, I've gone for this tan sandal with a block heel. I think I got these from Debenhams quite a few years ago, obviously before it closed down. These are super comfy. They're really wearable and versatile. Again, just go with anything and are such a great capsule wardrobe shoe. So to tie in the shoes and my bag, I've gone for a tan crossbody bag from Marks and Spencers. This was the only tan coloured bag that I actually own. So I probably would go for more of like a clutch bag or maybe a shoulder bag for dinner out. But I only actually have this crossbody. It has got the adjustable strap so you can shorten it to have more of a shoulder bag. But yeah, I really wanted to tie in the shoes and the bag together because I think that looks really good when you tie your accessories in with the same colour and it just looks really nice to have quite a simple colour palette rather than having loads of different colours I think just having two or three colours works really well but yeah this is definitely an Emma style outfit mostly in terms of the colour palette I'm not sure I've actually seen Emma in this kind of silhouette dress before but I do think it would really suit her maybe if they did this dress in a midi length she would possibly go for it. I have to say, I think this outfit is probably my favorite out of the three that I have chosen today. 
but I think all three definitely are Emma's style and I hope she agrees with me as well. So my lovelies, that is all of the outfits I'm going to show you in today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this little collaboration. Definitely head over to Emma's channel to check out her video as well. I'm really excited to see the outfits that she's put together for my style and I hope that she likes the outfits I've put together for her style as well. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, we can definitely collaborate again and make more videos together. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!